All right, so we're back and we've opened up the box and we're ready to start going through it. So, start off, we're gonna have a bunch of bags here with components for building robots and whatnot. And it uh, looks like each bag might be labeled. This one says start here. Um, basically, we have a slew of things, some tracks, um, some stickers, looks like hardware for actually connecting components. Some, uh, let's see, a test pad to actually do some work on. So that's kind of interesting. We'll see what that's all about. A full user guide, nicely illustrated, which we'll go through. And some mystery boxes. Not to mention the software that we're going to be using the program with. I'm going to just put these out of the way. So what we've seen so far is just basic Lego things, you know, uh, constructing and whatnot. Now let's see what's in inside of these uh, boxes and see what they have in store for us. So pardon me while I look for something to open this up with, but uh, let's see here. So inside this first big box, looks like I might have it upside down, let's take that out. So this looks like a slew of sensors. I'm not really sure what each one of them are. Let's see if I can guess. Uh, some of these, this looks like it shoots some stuff. I've seen that, uh, seen videos of that. And uh, this one looks like an infrared sensor, or no, actually it's an ultrasonic sensor. That's nice. And these look like some kind of, uh, hmm, I'm not really sure what these are. Oh, these look like arms. There's servos in there. I can feel it when I move it around. Sure enough, yep, those are arms of some sort. And what else? There's something else in here that I didn't see. Oh boy, what do we have here? Oh, we have all the RJ11, I believe, uh, connectors and a USB cable. That's really nice. And that's about it. That's all that's included in there. So, you know, it looks like there's a lot of stuff that we're going to be able to do with this kit. So what we'll probably start off with doing with this review is we'll just build up one of the basic robots and then uh, we'll program it and, you know, kind of see how much we can use and make full use of everything that's included in this kit. Now we have one more box before we uh, continue to go through. I'm not sure what this is, but oh, there we go. Now I know. This is the uh, brain of the system, typically called the robot controller, microcontroller, PCB. Uh, there's a number of uh, names for this type of thing. So I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna go ahead and open this up and see what it's all about. See if there's anything to it, and you know, what's this gonna take? So. At first glance, I see a bunch of connections here for those uh, phone connector type cables. They're not RJ11, they actually have a little bit different, so correct me on that one. They actually, as you can see, the connectors are different. Um, it looks like there's more wiring for them. So you have four here, and you have three up here, then you have a USB. Then you have some buttons. Not really sure what these do just yet, but you have some buttons. And it looks like this is just mounting spots. We have them in the front, the back. Actually, this looks like it opens up by doing this. Sure enough, it does. Uh, it looks like it takes six AA batteries. So that's not bad. So make sure you have six AA batteries when you want to start working with this. Hopefully, this will provide power also for the units. Looks like it might, but I'm not really sure. Um, actually, as to what controllers inside of this, I have no idea, but it has a little LED screen here, or LCD screen, or some kind of screen readout. And um, that's about it. And a user manual here. What it looks like, yeah, some manuals and things like that. It's great. All right, so that concludes what's inside the box. Next up, we'll be talking about what we're going to be building, and uh, we're going to actually look through the projects and pick the best one that's suited for this review.